Are you ready for me? Are you ready for me? Are you ready for me? Okay, Dad, so thanks for that question. Next, we'll get on to question number four. So, here we are. That's not one, right? No. All in the middle, so. Here we go. Question number four. You. 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 This is question number four. Okay. Let's see. This one is from... Okay. This one is from my friend Michela, who is um, a teacher. She's she's definitely been a big influence to me as being uh, becoming a teacher and improving as a teacher and learning, and also a really you know a, 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 she's got a beautiful soul and um, amazing person. So. I'm happy to answer this, and she's actually asked me two questions. She's got buy one, get one free, so <laughs> let's do it. Question from Michelle. First question is, how do you define creativity? Uh, well, it's definitely, I like to think of it as something organic, like, there are times when you do have to force being creative, but I would hope that most of the times things are organic. And if we really go to the basics of it, defining creativity, you know, it's got the word create in there. So that would be making something, but also giving life, okay? Like giving life to something, whether that be video, uh, music, stand-up, um, what else? Art, poetry, writing. There's so many different ways you can be creative. Fashion. Uh, so, so many different ways. So, that's how, that's the, the confine I would keep it in. So, but to say confine, but... You, you do have to have some principles and, and, and basic uh, roots. So creativity, organic, and giving something life. Second question from Michelle is, what are the pros and cons of being self-taught? Now, Obviously, I can only comment for myself because everybody's journey is different, but I can honestly say, for example, me playing the guitar, okay? Totally, totally like 95% self-taught. Um, and what helped me the most was YouTube videos. So watching people on YouTube, learning songs and things like that. So definitely the pros, as far as that goes, is, you know, I haven't paid for music lessons. So I've saved a whole bunch of money there. Um, I've been able to do it in my uh, place. Like, in my, my living situation. So, been comfortable. And, you know, the schedule has been totally my own. Now, the cons of that, I guess you just gotta, you gotta say, well, it's like saying, all right, how is it gonna be different, for example, me eating alone or me eating with other people? Like, if we talk about that. Say what? Like, here I am watching YouTube with my guitar, playing it, learning. And on the flip side, I could be with a teacher or I could be with a group of people learning, but in a different way, in a totally different environment. 
So, you know, that can be classed as a con that more energy, more, could be more creativity involved, uh, more excitement, but I definitely promote, definitely promote being self-taught. So, thank you, Michelle, for your double question. You're not ready for me.